it will give information about the tags www.google.com both are same if it is okay then press okay and wait see the magic done you can see the code is placed as per your requirement and you can check on all the pages code has been placed as per our requirement Hi friends welcome you to the another tricky video myself gautam and i welcome you on my channel my jit trick today i am going to show you how you can insert multiple qr codes on multiple pages in corel draw it's very simple and very easy with my vba codes if you are troubling inserting if you want to generate multiple qr codes for your any of your design any of your requirements and you want to set that barcode in the specific size and specific location on all the pages then my vba code will help you out it will take tags from your file itself which is written somewhere on the page and insert barcode from google site and place where you required an size as per your required let's start the video how we can do it but before this i would like to request you please subscribe my channel and help me to grow this channel because i always make this type of uh, vba codes and uh, provide you absolutely free and this is very helpful uh, vba codes and you will find something extraordinary in this you find something always extraordinary on this channel if you are really want this type of thing then come and join us okay let's start the video here i am just going to uh, draw a box box maybe at any size any size and at any place and i am going to write some text for this uh rama nuj page short of you and multiple the pages so that i can show you the code is working on all the pages here richard michael Myra mm. Here I will type some numerical 9876543211 Here I will combine a uh, letters and a numerical uh mountain here i will write some website now next step is to find the shape name uh i will open an uh, notepad and in this notepad i will write shape text shape box and i will try to find out my both the shape text shape and box shape box here uh, we need to know the text for which we need to create a code and box box where you want to put the qr code okay friends so let's find out how we can find it when nothing is selected 
you just need to uh, press tab button the first shape is selected which is called shape 1 the second selected is second selected is called shape 2 same way we will check on another page shape 1 shape 2 shape 1 shape 2 same pattern should be followed on all the pages that thing you have to consider in your while you are uh, inserting the codes uh, the box uh, text was 1 and the box was 2 see my friends how VBR code works it will go to all the pages and find shape number for which you want to generate QR code that is the text and find uh, shape 2 where you want to put your QR barcode uh, QR code sorry and if you uh, given uh, the number and VBA code find a different shape uh, for which uh, you you have not given but it finds a shape number 2 something else then VBA code will be confused like I am just giving on page number uh, 4 another shape circle now you can find 1 is circle 2 is uh, Myra and 3 is square now this is just for example page number 4 okay so don't do this type of mistake step 1 is complete and step 2 we just need an uh, VBA code that may that you may find in description of this video and now you will you need to press shift plus alt plus f11 macro manager will be a palette will be open in the last of list you can find vba projects your file name would be here you just need to double click in the list pop up list you will find this document when you will double click on it nothing will be appear but you just need to right click on edit on this and click on edit uh, paste copied code and close it and then when you will double click on it you will find two tabs one is helper helper is nothing but to help to the QB code and QR MGT and when you will double click on it it will prompt box shape number where QR code will be placed so as we know so box shape number where QR code will be placed uh, it was 2 ok text shape for which QR code will be generated that was 2 1 see it is confused right now so now you can see shape 1 is text for which we need to create QR code and shape 2 is box now we have to run the code when we will double click on QR MGT it will prompt box shape number that is uh, box is 2 we will type 2 here it will give the information about your box if you found it ok then press ok tag shape for which QR code be generated so it was 1 uh, it will give information about the text www.google.com both are same if it is ok then press ok and wait see the magic done you can see the code is placed as per your requirement and you can check on all the pages code has been placed as per our requirement so my dear friend you just need to careful about two things only one the shape number should be same on all the pages and another thing the system should be connected with the internet remember both the shapes 
should be same number on all the pages and your system should be connected with the internet and follow the instruction as given in this video otherwise QR code will not be generated and I request you please follow the instruction given in this video and use this VBA code it's very helpful as you can see it's very easy and helpful the code which is pasted is uh, SVG format so you can just change the color if you require I put it only black color if you say then I can change the color also and I can change the VBA code for changing color also but if we don't require then mostly we use black color only so that's it my dear friends so I hope you like this video so watch this video follow the instruction and use this VBA code and enjoy so see you in the next video till then bye bye